Coach, going on the road this week to start conference play over at North Dakota and uh, yeah, kind of a renowned building in, in this conference and in college hockey, I guess, uh, what's the first over order of business to kind of keep getting the team to be you know, getting better each day and ready to go on Friday night. Yeah, we're not really going to think about Friday night just yet. <clears throat> and we'll leave the, the travel and all that kind of stuff till the end of the week till we get there. Um, today was uh, get back to work day. You know, the, the, the video wasn't very good for last Friday. There was a couple parts of our game that I really, I, I like the fact we won the special teams. We were really strong in the face-off circle. Um, two areas of our game that <clears throat> were, were blatant was our lack of competition over the course of 60 minutes and our play with the puck. It just, it just wasn't the level um, I think we've set for ourselves, quite honestly. So uh, today was a, a battle level, take care of the puck, and, and tomorrow will be D-zone coverage because the next part of it, uh, last Friday, um, our, D zone, our D zone overall wasn't very good. And um, obviously a good bunch of forwards, young guys will expose you for it. Well, North Dakota is going to do that. Anyone in our league is going to do that. And, and we have to defend at a higher level. So our focus is going to stay small picture approach, which that means today. And we got through today and now we'll focus on tomorrow. But uh, uh, we're, we're preparing, Chad, obviously. It's, a, it, it's, there's some things this weekend that we can't control. Uh, you know, North Dakota and the fans. And, and, and the building and all that kind of stuff. We have no control over that. Um, we control how we play and we control our preparation and that's what we're, that's what we're trying to focus on. And again, that doesn't really matter who we're playing or where. Um, it's going to stay the same. So you mentioned liking how the special teams battle played out and ultimately it's what won you the game on Friday night. Uh, what are some of the, uh, I guess, improvements and progress you've been seeing from film week to week on some on some of those areas, especially on the penalty kill, which kind of got out, out of the gate slow. Yeah, I, I think just overall in the penalty kill, we're, we're working more together. Um, I, I think we're getting the, the the concepts of what we're trying to do um, as a four-man unit and potentially, if you include the goalie, a five-man unit. Um, now... Uh, Valentine made some good saves on our on, on our penalty kill. There's there's no doubt about that. Where where we got exposed, so it wasn't like our penalty kill was unbelievable. I mean, we were you know we were uh, four out of five, which is good, um, and and we're happy about that. But it's something that uh, there's there's plenty of room for improvement there. The overall, uh, I think where where we did a nice job in, in particular was on the power play. I mean, two for four, and we got the winning goal on the power play, and and we earned it. I mean, they they put pucks to the net, they crashed the net. Uh, one was a you know a shot with a tip puck from the point and, and Savage tipped it in. The other one was a, a, a really good play from Gilling to Green and, and, and good shot on that and then a rebound and and, and there was more than that because we were hunting pucks before that and once Gordy shot the puck on net we hunted it down and and got rewarded for going to the net. So some good things there. But um, winning the special teams battle is is one of those objectives that we need to stay on top of and as you said it won us the game on Friday. You know, one of the staples you mentioned really when you got hired initially is uh, having a team that plays hard and has that edge. And it seems when the team's playing at its best, it's got more of that engaged physically uh, edge. What's kind of that fine line to walk to, you know, maintain that intensity, but also maybe limit some of the penalties? Because I know those had been racking up yeah, a little bit early. And, and um, the only penalty on Friday that comes to mind was was Corbett's penalty, and it was more of a, he was sticking up for a teammate. I mean, it's college hockey; you don't really need to do that. Um, I appreciate where he what he was doing, but it's it's a we, we should have gone on the power play instead of playing four and four in that situation. But uh, uh, you know, getting back to your question, it, it is a it is a fine line for sure. Chad, I don't even think we're close to the line. You know, I, I don't even think we're close to the competing at a consistent level enough of the time. So I'm not worried about us going over the edge. I'm worried about us getting to the edge. Um, we, we've, we've got a long way to go in terms of our competitiveness. And, and when you're competing, having some detail to your game. Competing isn't turn your brain off and just compete. You have to have your stick on the puck. You have to be on the D side of things. You have to, uh, you know, have one or two hands on your stick, depending on the situation. So there, I, I, we're, we're, we're struggling with that a little bit. There's, we'll be competitive with no detail. We'll, we'll, we'll have some detail, but not be overly competitive. We need to find a way to put those two things together. And I'll worry about going over the edge. Uh, once we get there, <laughs> we're not, but I, well, your, your, your question is true because you can go out of control and out of control is no good. Uh, we, we, 
Uh, I, I want us to be way more competitive, way more of the time first, and then we'll worry about having to, uh, you know, bring bring some, pull it back a little bit once we get there. Obviously, you're a ways away this week from drafting together your lineup, but over the course of the month, have you how have you seen kind of some of the chemistry kind of progress a little bit with certain players uh, as they've been playing together? Well, let's let's just say, I mean, I think it's a pretty obvious statement that. 9, 39, and 85 have some chemistry. And I think that started probably last year, maybe, maybe even before that. I, I don't know. Um, but those three guys, we took, we, 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 we took them apart once and they found their way back together and they seem to be pretty good together. And uh, I take, they seem to be really good together. Where, where we are from a lineup standpoint, Chad, is where I want internal competition at all three positions. Well, we've got Barry, who's ineligible, and we've got Lowen, who's injured right now up front. So that puts us in a tough spot at the forward position. And, and we need Mahalik back. We need Mahalik back there to have 9D competing for those typically seven spots. And then in the goal, all of a sudden now Valentine has put himself in the conversation. So internal competition with a bunch of people that are wired properly, which I think we have, um, that brings out the best in everybody. You either are gonna watch somebody outplay you or you're gonna find a way to play better. Uh, and, and that's a good thing. So that's what we're looking for rather than the chemistry. I'd rather see some good internal competition to get the most out of everybody and, and the lineup start to become something that people have to earn. When you're hurt, it's tough to earn the lineup. And, and, and not only that, you can take somebody out when they're, when they're not executing or playing as well as they should be. So we haven't, we haven't been able to do that enough of the time and I, I look forward to getting healthy so we can do that. Gordy, team's gotten a month and eight games, including last Friday's exhibition under their belt, and now it's NCHC time. Uh, so you've made a few trips to Grand Forks over your time here, so you know what uh, is kind of ahead for this weekend. But it's, what's the preparation like of you know getting into that hostile environment for a team that hasn't gone on the road too much yet this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to look at it like any other game. Obviously, it's a conference game, and you're going to a rink like North Dakota where there's, I don't know, 12,000 or whatever. But um, we want to stay consistent with our preparation because each game means the same, especially with how many games you play. So um, we're just going to prepare the same way that we always do and just be ready to go. Your line uh, with Karch and Casey is pretty much other than a, about a period and a half over at Colgate, more or less stay together. How has that chemistry kind of built up between the three of you? I know over your careers up to this to this point, you've been kind of mixed and matched at different spots uh, over your careers. What's been working together, the three of you? Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, it's we mix and match. And uh, I was kind of with Melly a lot the past few years, but... Uh, I think just that consistency of us knowing we're going to be playing together, we can really kind of try stuff and practice and learn from each other. And I think uh, we all kind of play to each other's strengths and um, kind of really complement e each other and in the way we play. So you've gotten these eight games in before at conference play. What's been some of the things, good or bad, that have really stuck out to you and your leadership group? Um, I think uh, on the ice we just got to uh, – Something that's going to be big in conference play and in every game is our special teams. I think uh, the games that we have won and have had success, our special teams has been good, whether that's the power play or the penalty kill. And I think um, going into conference play, all the power plays are so important, either just to build momentum and just get a, a positive outlook on the power play or output. And um, uh, obviously a penalty kill is huge. That's what wins games. So. Coach, not unlike other coaches, talked a lot about creating that internal sense of competition to keep everybody pushing forward. How have you seen that kind of play out over the first month, uh, especially in practice? Yeah, I think it's been good. I think um, <clears throat> our freshmen have done a good job stepping up. They've all contributed in the ways that they ha they can and have. And um, I think just the internal competition just builds more competition in order to get that lineup spot and uh, – yeah, I mean, I think it's been good so far. As a senior leader, how do you get the freshmen ready for NCHC play and the level of competitiveness of the conference? I think it's just been uh, everything that we've done so far, whether it's been uh, practice or the games we've played. I, I mean, yeah, like the NCHC, obviously it's tough. It's, I, I think it's the best league. Um, but 
you just got to keep preparing yourself every day and doing the little things right. And um, hopefully they've gotten that confidence. So they've kind of got some, or they've gotten eight games about um, underneath their belt and hopefully just be ready to go. Yeah.